Oh, dude. Seriously? You gotta clean up your room. It's a complete mess. I am green. I am not boring. You're boring. You know what's boring? Sitting there playing that mind-numbing game. What's boring is me tripping over your vines every day. I'm not boring. <laughs> and now I know how Yandu felt. The important thing is making it all come together. We know they're gonna face Thanos. We've been setting that up since Avengers 1. How do you do that in a way that is unexpected, that pits the Avengers against somebody who is more powerful than anyone they faced, and yet make them completely unprepared to face him? Well, tear them apart, which is why we did Civil War before Infinity War. As we were conceiving and, and executing Civil War, the end of that movie was very much a setup for what these movies would be. We always had the sense of that. Tony is not talking to Steve. The Avengers are basically a name with nobody in it. The world is vulnerable. Tony senses this greater threat approaching, and so he is doing everything in his power to keep the Earth safe. Thanos shows us why he's the biggest, the best, the baddest villain that we've ever had, and the most frightening villain that the Avengers have ever faced. The most exciting part is the incredible roster of well-developed characters, and it's gonna create a really combustible, exciting, massive-scale adventure. You know that we're onto something within the studio.